<coughs> ah, <coughs> fuck. Sorry, everyone. Hello, everyone. Are you ready for another fucking adventure? I'm dying, apparently. Ugh. Ah. Anyway, I'm here with Peter Patter Pop. I'm also recording this in broad daylight, where I can be slightly louder. So if you notice me with more energy, it's because I'm not recording this at but fuck o'clock. But anyway, I digress. Uh, I like Peter Patter Pop. Uh, I'm going to be playing some of the hard mode stage 5 Darby where you have to use part 5 people. I'm obviously going to be repping my boy Jonathan uh, from the best part, part 1, Phantom Blood. Don't want to hear any arguments, thank you. And then I also need Trish to level up. So Jonathan will be doing the brunt of the work here while Trish is in the back looking pretty. Getting her stuff done. I don't actually don't know if she does anything. I never checked to see what she did. So... We just go in here. It shouldn't be too problematic. Yeah, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, let's see. Really liking this Darby event, by the way. It's been uh, it's been interesting. It's a different thing to gr grind for it when it's not diamonds. But you know, even without the diamond grind, I still think the stuff they offer in the shop is pretty good. Hopefully, by the end of this uh, episode, we'll be able to afford something. And already, that's kind of not the greatest. In the world. I don't like it when I can't make perfect perfect anything. There we go. That's pretty bad. All these are basically gonna go down right to the clock because if you have a level 11 Trish with me, but it should be fine. Good job, Trish. You got. Now, let's just show you how Jonathan does it. Look at that. Big boy punch. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Good job, Jonathan. Like a true gentleman. Oh, yeah, that would almost be bad. I just realized I'm fighting Bluefoot. How thematic. Uh, let's see. It shouldn't be too bad. Again. Pretty easy stuff. I'm also fucking this up seven different ways this Sunday, but it should be fine. Ah, stupid. I hate these style of things so much. Okay. Okay. Then, he survives this. Oh, he is going to survive this. Like I said, he's going to come down right to the wire. Right to the end. But it's okay, because Jonathan's got his special. And Trish does whatever the fuck she does. Of course, it goes right there. It's okay, right there. Right there. Wouldn't it be funny if right after all my posturing, I actually lost? No! No! Okay. <laughs> With three seconds left. Got it in there. Okay. That was much harder than I thought it would be. And it's only because Trish is so low level. Maybe I'll give her some tickets. You know what? Let's see how she does here. Does she level up fully? No. Ah, uh, someone could level up. It's fine. Let me quickly go into Trish here. Uh, I've been saving so many of these for Jonathan. But you know what? Jonathan would have a lady have some stuff behind her. These two also have no synergy, by the way. It's very clear that they don't have synergy, but I just wanted to be, you know, state the facts. These two have absolutely no synergy together. I'm just using them because, um, you need to use a part 5 person for this specific, um, uh, side of the event. For the missions. So let's go up here. Sure. I think 25 is enough. She should be able to hold her own at that point, or at the very least do just enough damage where it doesn't fucking completely ruin my chances of winning. So let's go back in here. Again, Jonathan is at 48, so close to that 50, he's reaching for that 50, and now we're gonna fight Hair Girl from part four, who I also don't remember her name, but it's fine. She doesn't care. Okay, let's go back into it here. There's a her thing right there, right there, right there. Okay. Oops, picked up the wrong one, but it's fine. As long as you slide it in at the right place. Let that be a lesson to you, everyone out there. Just slide it in at the right place and everything will be fine. The key to good Peter patter pop playing is to just keep going. Don't stop for nothing, never be stopping. If you're making popping, then you're doing great. But if you stop for even a second to think, you've already lost. Okay, let's go in here. So you basically have to go like enter the matrix style, look at where stuff is gonna go, 
watch your dude do that. It also helps to do a little bit of this. And sometimes they'll also fuck up your patterns, which sucks, but it should be fine. You gotta play where the green is. You gotta think smart. You gotta be smart. Always keep your combo going. Hope any of this helps. I actually have no idea what I'm talking about. Ah! See? I was thinking too hard, and that's why I lost. Oh, I didn't lose. Alright, that's the Jonathan Punch. That's a dent. Oh, I actually made it the rush time. I didn't think that that would be possible. There's specifically a mission for doing more damage, so that's why I'm like, uh... I could use it- Ah! Everything turned out fine. We're playing. This is peak performance of Pitter Patter Pop playing. That's not true. Actually, if you want to see peak performance, go check out Zen's videos. He actually knows what he's doing half the time. And he does, but he also doesn't use Jonathan, so I feel like that's automatically a uh, negative in uh, his corner right there. If you're not, if you're not using Jonathan, then what's even the point of playing Pitter Patter Pop? Is how I feel. And then we're gonna fight this Nazi man. Or maybe he's a German soldier. I don't actually know. He looks German. He looks like Stroheim, but I actually can't confirm if that's Stroheim or not. I can't focus too much on his German. Must keep playing. Must keep making parts. Must make Whamu go up here. Ah, damn it! Stupid big fat ass fingers. That's very bad. We're actually in a very bad situation. Uh, because Jonathan has one exact reach and this motherfucker has basically cut off his main avenue of making stuff. Alright. Good job, Trish. You've made absolutely nothing. <laughs> and also, I've just prevented you from doing something, so... Yeah. Well, let's put that in the my bad corner. Uh, right here. Oops. Oh, I completely fucked that up. Is that gonna fuck me? Yeah, it's gonna fuck me. Damn it. See, this is what happens when you stop. And you stop thinking. You start thinking, and you completely fuck up everything. And of course, Whamu goes up here. I actually don't know if you're Whamu. Whichever one you are, fuck you. How dare you. Big-ass Jonathan. Can you die here? Can you do me a solid and die? Yes, you can. Yes. I should go back here. Uh, okay. Alright, making our way through. Going through it. Pose for everyone. Both of them doing extremely suggestive poses. This is a fan service game for everyone. Alright, we're almost there. Let's see, we only got two uh, things left. Now here's the problem that's going to form almost immediately is that um, the boss in this game, for the Darby Venice specifically, is a real pain in my ass. Just because he's, um, he's a rascal, that one. He feels like uh, his entire, my only, he feels counterintuitive to using Jonathan, so therefore I do not like using him. But regardless, I will continue to use Jonathan in the face of adversity. Never surrender. Never compromise, even in the face of Armageddon. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah! I have so many Trishes. Trish, go down. Trish, please go down. No, don't blo don't cock block me, bro. Don't cock block me from the Trish. Here we go. Here's some Trish. Yeah. You like how I just left some Trish all over the board? That's the power of Trish. Is that she just leaves stuff, but then doesn't really do anything with it. Well, she can do stuff, but you have to have like a specific setup. And I ain't about that life. Old woman! There we go. There we go. That was all bad. That was an extremely terrible formation. Doesn't matter though, because guess what? This cosplayer is dead. I don't know who you are. Kind of super hacker. Let's see. 
then we'll get started on the Darby event. Well, not the Darby event. I'll get to the boss fight in the Darby event, which is super fucking annoying. Again, I don't like it. Uh, I always basically go right up to the clock, and then it's done. So, yeah. Yeah. Go up, dude. There we go. Alright, let's see. Got some of that. Well, even if I lose against Rohan here, I like how I kept calling it. It's the Darby event, but he's not the boss in this one, I guess. Trish, you're going to have to leave the team for this one, because let me tell you, I even with my best dudes, I cannot beat this. I have trouble beating him, so I'm going to go with, you know. I'm also just going to have to use all these, because let me tell you, I have terrible luck with these. I never beat them first try, so let's see. See what you do, Rohan. If he hits the middle, I'm basically fucked. Oh, oh, that's perfect. That's the good formation. See, I can deal with this because Jonathan specifically easily deals with that. Okay. Well, let's get started on this. Doing some good old-fashioned cleanup. There we go. There we go. There we go. Everything's all nice. And clean. No! Don't ruin my stand-up time now. Oh, we're fine. Oh, it's so awkward though. I hate it. I hate I hate it. I hate all of you. Except for you John. Obviously you're a very good one. Then Greed Day comes in here. Says, do you have the time to listen to me unwind? I'm about to drop it and hit it. I should have saved this. I've probably completely fucked myself right here, but. Yep. Again. You have to stop thinking. God damn it, I fucking hate you so much. Oh god. It's fine. Maybe I'm being a little overdramatic. But then I wouldn't be JoJo if I wasn't extremely overdramatic about my current situation. Oh god. Uh, is it? You know, is this going to be the sixth secret that this is actually much easier than I thought? And it was actually Mista was holding me back? God damn it. I swear to god, this is hard. <laughs> you know, maybe if I had used absolutely no items, it would be a different story. But I got a good, um... I didn't know what he did. So maybe I just got lucky. Maybe it's just specifically Jotaro is the one that gives me... The Jotaro and uh, Darby formation really fucking up. Anyway, you're dead. Get out of my face, Rohan. Yeah! Alright, let's see. Let's collect our spoils. 30. Very nice. And then we'll go in here. And then we will... Yeah! Yeah! And then let's go in here. Yeah! Gonna get this treasure chest. Get that treasure chest. Now we're gonna open it. First we're gonna select it because this always goes to the damn box. And then we're gonna select it. Then we'll go in here. Then... Yeah! Three chairs! Hell yeah! Chairs! And then... That'll be the end of it, but let's do a quick... In memory of today is Zenrot Day when I recorded this, we're gonna do a, um... We'll do one cone pull, huh? Let's see what we get. Yay! It's that guy he Zenrot absolutely hates. <laughs> so that's perfect. Uh, let's see. I almost feel like saying we should do one... Eh, fuck it. One more coin pull for Zenrot Day. Yeah, for Zenrot! This is for Zenrot! Thanks, Zenrot. I love it. <laughs>